Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Zoe, a language lover who speaks seven languages. At the same time, I'm doing a PhD in sociology and I lecture at university in France. You can check out my videos that I speak different languages on my channel. I'm so happy to make this video today. This time, I changed the strategy a little bit. I first make a post on the community on my channel to ask you guys. What are the difficulties you have in making a language learning plan, and what you want to learn from the new video? Based on your feedback and questions, I made this video. Thank you, guys. You helping to make this video. So, if you like this video and if you think it's helpful, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. If you are following my channel, you must know that I'm learning four languages at the same time: Arabic, German. Turkish and Persian. For each of them, I have different goals and strategies. Today, I will share my plan with you in detail. But I'm not going to give you the fish. I want to teach you how to fish. The goal is for you to know how to make a proper plan for yourself rather than just copying mine. I would be a liar if I would say you use my plan and you can speak a language fluently after a year. I'm not discouraging you. Maybe you can get there faster than me. That's totally normal because you know. Everyone's situation and ability is different. I just want to give you the healthy beliefs that's very important to keep you motivated. First, I made the ideal type of two language learning profiles based on my own experience and the questions I have received from my subscribers. First profile, I call it Discoverer. People who learn a language as a hobby to travel, to communicate with friends, family, and partner. So listening and speaking about everyday topics is most important. But the difficulty is they don't have much time. The second profile, master, people who are learning a language seriously for professional academic purposes, they need all four skills: listening, speaking, writing, and reading. The difficulty is how to balance the exercises of these four skills and how to break the plateau after a learning period. These two profiles are not absolutes. In fact. I can do one video for each profile, but I still have decided to do them together because often we are in betweeners. For example, I learned French as a hobby at first. Then I make it my professional and academic language. You can also have two profiles at the same time. Now I'm learning Turkish and Persian more as discoverer, and Arabic and German as master. Now you have a basic idea of your profile. Let's make a step-by-step -step plan. This is the most important step. I always prefer to set a general goal for the long term, like one year, three years, or five years, and concrete goals for every three months, one month, one week, or even one day. I mean here that sometimes we set a general goal, like, for example, reaching B1 level in one year. That's fine, but you need to have a clearer idea. Why do you want this B1 level, and what your life will be with it? I'm trying to guide you consciously and concretely build a vision rather than focusing only on the number. Sometimes the number of your level may not represent your true level. You may have a B1 certificate, but your speaking skill are not even A2. For example, what pushes me to study French intensively and get double C1 in only one year is that I have a clear vision. In five years. I want to do my PhD in sociology in France. I want to be able to read good sociology, philosophy, geopolitics books. I want to be able to talk about these kinds of topics in private and in front of an academic audience. I got my double C1 after a year of learning, but that only meant that I could apply for the master's degree in social sciences in France. That's it. I still had to work very hard to follow the courses, pass the exams, and get the scholarship for my PhD. When I was in my master's degree, I was inspired by many anthropologists who speak the local language. There is a French researcher,、uh, Olivier Roy, who has been living between France and Afghanistan for more than ten years, and he speaks fluently Farsi Dari. I have a lot of his books here, and I have his biography. Today he is one of the leading experts in this field. I started to dream that one day I would be able to travel to the Middle East, talk to and interview people in different dialects, go out in the field and live with people. That's the style of research I want. At that time, I have never been to the Middle East. Three years later, step by step, I make it come true. 
the certificate of my level are not even important in this case. Now, I don't really know what my level is in different Arabic dialects, but I can use it in my work and in my studies. That's enough. So when we set a goal, ask yourself, what will my life be? What will my life be like with this language? Make a scenario, imagination. The B1 level or the C1 certificate is only the part of this goal. Without this vision of the future, you can't go further. This is the core of motivation. Of course, some people learn one or more languages just for hobby. That's fine. I'm talking about people who want to speak a language fluently, use and integrate in their life. Next step, assess your situation and abilities. Ask yourself this question. How much time can I devote each week to learning this language? How much can I learn in each study session? Some people learn fast, some are slow. There are many factors. Just find your pace. Don't blindly compare yourself to others. If you are not sure, just try to study one or two sessions and find your own rhythm. Discover a profile, for example, 30 minutes a day. So you can set 30 minutes as your study session. So you can study at least, for example, four sessions a week and 16 sessions a month. Master profile, for example, you can set one hour or two hours as a study session and focus one skill per session. You can also organize three or four hour study session, including the practice of different skills. We will now combine the first and second steps and make a good plan. I plan to learn Persian as discoverer. So my long-term goal scenario is communicate freely with people in Iran while traveling, make documentaries, and even live in Iran for a while. To achieve this goal, I need to know the structure of this language, grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, etc. Do a lot of listening and speaking exercises. At first, I found this book, Asimid. They have 86 lessons. With my study ability, it takes 30 minutes to study a lesson. I'm learning other languages at the same time. I have work and other activities, so I can only devote two 30 minutes sessions during the week and two one hour sessions during the weekend. One tip, why don't I just do two hours on a weekend? If your study gap are too long, you will not familiar with the language and will easily forget it. So I always prefer to do less, but more regularly. If I study four times a week, two sessions of 30 minutes during the week and two sessions of one hour during the weekend, I can study six lessons a week and that's almost finish the book in three months. So my short and go is very simple and concrete. Three months, I focus on a book, I finish it so I can have a structure of the Persian language. If you are a beginner learning a language from zero, for two profiles, I really recommend you find a structured book with audio or video in your target language because they teach everything step by step. Normally, you have the conversation, grammar, basic vocabulary, and I mean everything. After one month, I made a summary. I realized that I needed to learn and practice more verbs. So I added 15 minutes to write conjugation of a verb every day and make sentences in each session. For more details about this method, you can watch the video How to Learn Vocabulary Effectively. So the goal for the second month became 24 lessons and 24 verbs. Then for the third month, I found my language exchange partner, Negar. So I started adding an extra task, at least two conversation sessions per week. And we started sending each other sentences in a diary every day. So the goal is to have at least 24 lessons. 24 verbs, 8 speaking sessions, and at least 8 corrected diaries. It's very important to set concrete goals for each month that are based on your daily or weekly task. If you study aimlessly, one day you are watching video, another day you are using an app, the next day you are learning new words on Instagram, you will get more and more confused and you can't track your progress. Another tip is to write down the date of your notes. New words, the diaries is a good way to track your progress and summarize every week and every month. Even if you don't like to study with a book, for example, you can study with an app or YouTube videos. You can set goals like one lesson, one video a day, seven videos a week, 
28 videos a month. The most importantly, write in your calendar an everyday to-do list and make it your habit. One tip, each month, make a summary based on the previous month's progress or changes in circumstances and ask what you learned this month. Do you feel progress? What is counterproductive? Should you be doing less or more? How? You can set a new goal for next month. It's very important to be flexible. For the master profile, for example, I'm learning Arabic. The scenario for my new long-term goal is to be able to lecture given conferences in Arabic, for example. My goal for the next three months is therefore improve my reading skills. I need to read more books in Arabic to write and speak about many complicated subjects. So can I make a three hour study session, which includes reading, listening, writing and speaking. And I have to study at least three times a week. Here is a tip. I focus on one topic in each session, for example. I read an article about the situation of Muslims in France. So I watch a video about that topic and I write a short essay using new words from that article. It's almost the end of the video. Some people ask me, Zoe, Zoe, can I learn four languages at once like you? Or which language should I learn? Sorry guys, to be honest, I can't answer. It depends on what you are learning these languages for. What's your goal? What's your situation? So it really depends on you. Now I'm learning four languages. My plan is two languages a day on odd days and two more languages on even days. I don't recommend you to study a lot of languages simultaneously. I don't want to give you the illusion that Zoe can do it. If I copy her, I can do it as well. It's really tiring and overwhelming to be honest, but I need these languages in my studies and my work at the moment. So. The answer is up to you. Well, I hope you can find some inspiration from this video. If you have any questions, just write in the comments. Let me know if you think this video is helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys. Bye.